Martina. Blair. Bridget. In this video, we're going to show you the correct technique for rinsing your glassware and why this is important. When you collect glassware for your experiment, it might appear clean, but it could still contain residue from previous experiments. If you're unsure about how clean it is, it's a good idea to rinse it before using it, especially if you're doing a titration or an experiment that requires precision and care. Rinse flasks and beakers with tap water first, then a few times with distilled water from a wash bottle. This flask looks clean, but as we add our solution, residue left behind is dissolved into the solution, contaminating it. Here, that residue is coloured, so it's easy to see. If it were colourless, as a lot of residues are, you won't know if your solution is contaminated until it's too late. The same idea applies to volumetric pipettes, but the rinsing process is a little bit different. With pipettes, Rinse both inside and outside thoroughly with distilled water from a wash bottle. Wipe the outside of the pipette dry using a tissue. With a pipette filler, draw some of the solution to be pipetted and use this to rinse the inside of the pipette. It's not necessary to completely fill the pipette during this step, as you will tip the pipette back and forth to ensure the inside of the pipette has been rinsed. Drain this solution into a labelled waste beaker. This process can be repeated if necessary. We've added phenyl phalein to our stock solution to detect a change in the pH. This pipette looks clean, but it hasn't been rinsed. The small amount of residue left on the pipette is enough to contaminate the entire stock solution. Burettes also need to be carefully rinsed before use. Rinse first with distilled water, then rinse a few times with a small volume of the stock solution.